Hey guys, this is Eric. And today I want to talk a little bit about beliefs. And this topic is important because I hear a lot of people say, change your beliefs, change your life. Right? And although it has some truth to it, it's not the whole truth or the whole picture. And it's a little misleading because you can't change your beliefs without changing your feelings. So if you've been having trouble creating wealth, love, happiness, and fulfillment, its root source is the feeling that you have about these things. And the reason why I think this is important because it can be something that traps you or something that liberates you. So let me explain <clears throat> my diagram here. So, so you have you know, your feelings, let's just say. You, you're born into this world. You don't have any beliefs when you're born. Right? You don't really have any thoughts when you're born. Children are all just feelings, right? They touch things. They want to put things in their mouth. They're experiencing sounds and, and, and smells and, and sights. So they're just all feelings, right? <clears throat> and so then what ends up happening as time passes, let's say you have another kid and you buy your other kid a gift and then you didn't buy the other, the other kid a gift. And so that child starts having thoughts. Well, why did they get something and I didn't get something? Okay. They don't know the whole story. They just have a feeling like, why did they get something and I didn't get something? <clears throat> and it creates this thoughts, right? And so then these thoughts lead to a belief. All came from that feeling. And that feeling might be like, I'm insignificant. They got them a gift. I didn't get one. So I'm not important, right? Which leads to that belief of, I'm not important. Those thoughts that are going around in the head. And so now this child has this belief that I'm insignificant. And that ends up going and leading to their focus. So now they have this belief, this feeling that led to these thoughts, to this belief of I'm insignificant. To now that's what, how they view the world with their focus is I'm insignificant. And so then that creates their reality. So they're looking through a lens that lens of insignificance, which creates this reality around it, which is not true, right? And that reality ends up reinforcing back again that feeling. So everywhere they look in their, in their reality, they're recreating that insignificance and in anything that happens to them. They even get into relationships that replicate that feeling. They get into a relationship where someone doesn't treat them well. Why? Because they created that belief, which created that focus, which attracted that reality of what they wanted. So then how do you change? How do you break this cycle? And it's by changing your feeling. So let's say now you're like, I want a feeling of just feeling abundant. I want a feeling of just feeling just happy and grateful. Okay. So every day you, you get up in the morning, you close your eyes and you set an attention for the day. And your attention could be just happiness gratefulness and just think about all the things that are happy about your life and all the things that you should be grateful for and all the reasons why you should be abundant considering that you have water coming out of your kitchen sink right you don't have to go to a river and, and get it right so much abundance washing machines that wash your clothes you don't have to wash it by hand right and just feel into those feelings feel into those feelings what's going to start to happen within a short time period is within a few weeks even that those feelings are going to start creating new thoughts. And those new thoughts start creating new beliefs. And those new beliefs start creating new focuses. And those new focuses start creating new realities. And then you start breaking that old cycle. And you become somebody new. Somebody that's more inspiring. Somebody that who's more passionate. Right? And so this is why this work is so important. And why it's taking the... Taking the internet by storm. And I'm glad to be part of it. I'm, I'm glad to be part of this and get out there with everybody else and, and change the bar. And so if you guys like this video, please like it and share it. And if you feel like this, this video is speaking to you, then break the cycle and reach out and jump on our training. Okay. And you, so you can message me on Facebook on Be It First or our or, or contact me on the website at www.beatfirst.com. So thank you guys for uh, watching, and uh, I'll see you later.